Hey, what is going on guys? Slick Joe here, hoping you guys are having a fantastic day. And today I have another Wonder Weapon guide for you. This is the second Wonder Weapon in Zombies in Spaceland, the Shredder. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build that today. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Let's see if we can hit 10 likes again. That is super crazy, but we'll try it anyway. Without out of the way, let's get right into the video. So, to build the Shredder, just like the Discord, you're going to need three different parts, kind of in the same sort of aspect, the way you got those. So, the order in which you get these parts does not matter at all. You can get them in whatever order you want to. The first one I'm going to get is the one in the coin machine, just like before. And I'm doing that because that's just the fucking way I want to do it, so deal with it. So, the machine you need to go to is the one from the right of the Pack-a-Punch teleporter. That is in the Kepler area, and you need to put three red coins in this one that is the one with the alien on them and they're red so put three red coins in this machine and you are going to get the little alien toy after you get the alien toy go ahead and pick that up and you can move on to the next part which is the battery so in order to get this you are going to need these sunglasses again and like i said you need to get those by killing zombies and then they'll drop them they drop them quite often so just go ahead and once you kill a zombie you'll see the sunglasses drop pick them up and then you can put them on with l1 so once you get the sunglasses go ahead and head over to the polar peak area and then head outside to where all the colored fountains are once you get out there you're going to want to put the glasses on and wait for the log plume uh, boat to come around which is that wooden boat that comes around in a circle it keeps going around around in the like water moat around the fountains and if you look real close when you have your glasses on, the back of the boat has the battery sitting on the back of it. It's almost impossible to see, super hard to see, but if you look real close you can see it. And if you can't see it, just go ahead and spray your gun at the back of the boat. And if you hit the battery, it'll fall off and into the water that is down below it. So once it falls off into the water, then that is going to suck it kind of into one of those fountains. And it'll start to shoot out of random fountains around that little fountain area right there. So all you're going to want to do is stand at the top of that fountain area, wait till you see it shoot out, and then go run over there quick and hold extra square on it to pick up the battery. And that is the second part for the Shredder Wonder Weapon. So after you get the battery part for the Wonder Weapon, you're going to want to get the last part, which is the red gemstone for this one. And in order to get the red gemstone, you're going to need the fire upgrade on your gun. So to get the fire upgrade on your gun, you're going to need to go into the pack punch room, hold extra square on that creepy looking base in there, and that will release all of the mini UFOs to each trap around the map. After you've released the UFOs, go ahead and head over to the chromosphere trap, which is the one in the Kepler area, and the UFO should be circling it, activate the trap, kill a bunch of zombies with it, and the UFO will change paths so you can complete the next step of the upgrade. After the UFO changes paths, you're going to want to go and get the Arcane Core and put it on your gun for 300 tickets. And then you're going to want to kill zombies near the UFO and that will suck the souls up from the zombies and charge the UFO. After you've killed enough zombies, the UFO will disappear and you are ready to move on to the next step, which is you need to break the teeth of the alligator. So in order to break the teeth of the alligator trap, which is down in the Kepler area, you're going to need to get a brute to spawn and you're going to need to lead the brute through the alligator trap. You're going to want to get it to close right when the brute is underneath and it will break the teeth by closing down on top of the brute will break the teeth of the alligator trap. After you have broken those teeth, you're going to need to replace those teeth with the golden teeth that you can get at the prize center in the arcade. So head over to the arcade, redeem the tickets for the golden teeth, which are 300 tickets, and then you can head back over to the Kepler system and place the golden teeth where the other teeth broke out. And that will open the door to the exquisite thing that, I guess, releases the gemstones. This is where the gemstones are located. So after you have opened that door in the back of the alligator's throat, you can see a door opened and the exquisite is standing there. Go ahead and shoot the far right door with your fire upgraded gun. And that will open that little door, get out of the way so you don't get killed by the alligator trap. And then head back in and hold extra square on the door that opened to pick up the red gemstone. Now you have acquired all three parts for the shredder. And the last thing you need to do is head down into the basement of the map and head into the Kepler area basement. And there will be a kind of sideways cardboard cutout like the other wonder weapons. And you're going to need to place all the parts on that. And once you place all the parts on that, you can pick up the Shredder. So it's a pretty cool gun. It 
kind of disintegrates these zombies when you shoot them and kind of hurts other zombies that run into the disintegrated zombie. It's a pretty cool wonder weapon. It looks cool and it's pretty effective. The only thing I have to say about it is it does run out of ammo pretty quickly, which kind of sucks. But if you don't spam it too fast, then you should be all right. But yeah, guys, that's how you build the shredder in Zombies in Spaceland. If you guys enjoyed this video, like I said before, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it a lot and it helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you. No, 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 no. I better be seeing your ass in the next video. Catch you later.